for the 80s. We're in them right now. Temperatures are going to soar even higher today near record territory. I don't know if I'm ready for the 80s. I, I, you know, I'm still adjusting to yesterday. It was gorgeous in the 70s, but here they are. High 80s today, Larissa. Feeling more like August than April. That is absolutely right, Jim Janelle. Good afternoon to you. We're tracking temperatures already in the 80s across many locations, and that includes some places down the shore. We're going to show you those numbers in a moment, but take a look at Storm Scan 3. If you're in Philly right now, those clouds have broken. It is very bright outside right now, but clouds will eventually fill back in, and we're calling it a mix of sun and clouds. Take a look for yourself. Not bad, with temperatures sitting right at 80. One degrees. Notice the wind. It's a bit breezy outside, but that's pretty much it. We're just tracking winds right now, ranging anywhere between 10 to 15 miles an hour. I'm not tracking any wind gust, any anything in that nature, any wind gust later on this afternoon. As far as dew points are concerned, we've been watching this number very closely. Right now, the air is still relatively dry, so it's not feeling humid out there. But that's a number to watch because it is going to increase as the sun goes down. Notice temperatures across the region, widespread 80s, 83 Mount Holly, 82 out in Wilmington. It is currently 84 degrees in Cheswold. We head up to Allentown, they're also in the 80s. Notice the temperature up in the Poconos, not bad, at 75 degrees. And if you will be dining al fresco, I told you clouds will be filling in once again, but notice how it's still gonna remain quite mild out there. This is for 7 p.m. Philly will be right at 83 degrees, so a comfortable, evening to go out and enjoy dinner. If you're down the shore, it's still going to be beautiful with temperatures there right at 70, a little bit of a sea breeze, but still not bad. And then out towards the Lehigh Valley, temperatures here will also be in the low 70s with clouds beginning to fill in. And of course, with that cloud cover, we have the chance for a few spotty showers. That's not going to develop until after midnight. So take a look at 1145. We'll see those clouds moving in and then some sprinkles here and there. So nothing overly wet, but we do have a better shot of some rain moving through overnight Thursday and then another shot at it as we head towards Thursday afternoon. So for Thursday, I'm keeping a shower chance in the morning, in the afternoon, and again in the evening. And toward the evening is when we have a better shot at a few rumbles of thunder. Now the threat for showers continues with us as we head towards Friday. Notice 1245, we have some showers out there. This is Friday 1245 in the morning. We'll continue to watch this cold front move through the region. Behind it, the air gets cooler. It also gets windy for the end of the week. And notice how we come down as far as those temperatures are concerned. So it'll be windy but drier for the afternoon. The cool conditions continue into the start of our Saturday. Notice those temperatures by Saturday afternoon were only in the 60s. We do rebound nicely though for Sunday, a high of 75. And notice I'm tracking another warm up on the way. By Monday, we are bumping it up to near 80 under partly sunny skies. By Tuesday, we are in the 80s with temperatures topping out at 81 degrees. All right, not bad at all. We have to get through this this little heat bump. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm still thinking of the churros for lunch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> food is always a good thing to think about. All right, Larissa, thank you so much. So as I was saying,